It is Thursday, March 19th. I'm Alicia Smith. In the news, the state of Michigan has its first confirmed death from the coronavirus. It happened on Wednesday. Beaumont Hospital confirmed the victim is a man in his 50s from Wayne County who had underlying health issues. Meantime, the number of cases continues to climb in Michigan. There are now at least 110 confirmed cases, but that number is expected to rise later on today. Meantime, we have learned that three DTE Energy employees have tested positive for COVID-19. In addition, two of DTE's vendors have also reported three positive cases. We're told the jobs of those impacted employees do not involve contact with DTE Energy customers. Amid a serious supply shortage, the auto industry could play a key role in the coronavirus crisis. Ford and General Motors are in talks with the White House on possibly manufacturing ventilators needed to fight COVID-19. President Trump announced that he's enacting the Defense Production Act. He made that announcement yesterday, and that will allow the administration to require private companies to meet national needs during a crisis. Time for a look at your forecast with 7 First Alert Meteorologist Kevin Jeans. Hey, Lisa, with a chance of thunderstorms going up from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. today, it'll be moving in from the southwest. And I think some strong storms will be moving out of Indiana and Ohio at that time, but it's going to weaken as it moves into Michigan. But areas around Ann Arbor and south and southwest of Ann Arbor and Detroit may get some pretty strong wind gusts as these storms arrive, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. We'll get rain to continue overnight, and there may even be a few rumbles of thunder through tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow, in the morning, we're near 60 degrees but the afternoon temperatures fall into the 40s. It's going to be windy and getting colder as we dry out tomorrow afternoon. Sunny skies Saturday and Sunday, but lows are going to be in the 20s this weekend. Thank you, Kevin. Right now, police in Waterford Township are investigating a homicide that happened at a motel. Officers were called to McGuire's Motor Inn on Telegraph last night, and that's where they found a man's body. The victim's identity has not yet been released. You can always get the latest up-to-date information on the coronavirus at WXYZ.com slash coronavirus. I'm Alicia Smith. Have a great day.